suddenly i have started you are writing short notes okay giving a picture writing descriptions correct yes sir right so go ahead in doing this now you need to is completed now correct yes sir should be a complete practice repetition mean it should be a part of your blood that much we have to be what is it repeating 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 that much you have to thorough yourself then only there will be a okay a benefit from biology right now last week now last week i showed you a set of structure questions now can you remember yes, sir. i yes, sir. showed you how many questions seven right now yes sir it has gone up to how much 12 structures okay all these ones are based on your first term understood yes sir how much it is needed for the first term i have a huge collection but thing it is the collections are completely in uh, singhala medium okay so my work here is translating them okay con okay correct uh, considering the syllabus and correctly writing them understood that kind of a work only these days i am moving on right so if you have plenty of works waiting uh, to work out it so if you start doing this one i think the whole portion set for the first term will be uh, equal to two cr books of mine only for first term understood yes sir right so do the works do the works that is very very important do the works fine so last class we were discussing in the last minutes regarding fungus right yes sir so last class i ended with some 16 number of questions okay how many questions 16 questions here are these those questions right can you answer me now tulaushan can you answer these questions orally to me okay sir you read the question and tell me the answer what is the cellular organization of fungus eukaryotic hmm what is the chemical making the cell wall of fungus 
things to which uh, what are the physical properties of chitin it is strong and flexible to which biological molecule group that chitin belongs polysaccharide what is the nutrition of fungus uh, absorptive and heterotrophic what is meant by absorptive heterotrophic nutrition they secrete extracellular enzymes and break down complex molecules into simple molecules and then they absorb them what are ecological role plays of fungus Uh, decomposes parasites and mutualistic name a unicellular fungus yeast what is the name of the multicellular filaments that make the body of multicellular fungus hi say hi be ah what What are the two types of hypha that can be noticed in fungus? Septate hypha, phenocytic hypha. What are the components moving through the pore in the septae of septate fungi? Mitochondria. ribosomes and nuclei what is the meaning for xenocytic lacking septa in brackets with many nuclei and real meaning is presence of many nuclei okay okay sir what kind of fungi are described as xenocytic fungi fungi who lack septa filamentous fungi understood okay sir hmm. tell me filamentous fungi who lack septa what is mycelium hmm. a network of branched hyphae adapted for absorption of nutrition shamla ready Yes, sir. Yes, you can go ahead. Do. What is the cellular organization of fungus? Um, eukaryotic. What is the chemical making the cell wall of fungus? Is lignin. Lignin. What are the physical? Sorry, the chitin. Hmm. Uh, what are the physical properties of chitin? Flexible and strong. To which biological molecule group that chitin belongs to? is polysaccharide what uh, what is the nutrition of fungus heterotrophs and absorptive what is mean by absorptive heterotrophic nutrition uh, that secretes extra cellular enzymes and breaks the molecules from complex to simple molecule and absorb it the, the simple molecule through the body surface okay of sir that part you have to conclude okay you okay, should sir. stop the recording ha ah. what is mean by absorption tell that one again bubu that secretes extra cellular enzymes and breaks complex molecules to simple molecules by absorbing ah. nutrition don't don't mix it up okay by secreting extra cellular enzymes complex molecules are broken to simple molecules then those simple molecules are absorbed into the cells understood yes sir clear should now, i now tell it now tell it ma 
that secretes extracellular enzymes and breaks the complex molecules to simple molecules. And those simple molecules are absorbed, uh, absorbed to the cell. Into the cells. Into the cell. Okay, sir. Mm. Uh, what are biological role plays by fungus, decomposers, parasites, and neutralistic? Name a unicellular fungus, yeast. What is the name of the multicellular filament that makes the body of multicellular fungus, hypae? Mm. What are the two types of hypae that can be noticed in fungus, septate hypae and sinocytic hypae? What are the components moving through the pore in a septa of septate fungi, mitochondria, ribosomes, and nuclei? What is the meaning of sinocytic, lacking septa with many nuclei? Sir, can you move down the screen, sir? What kind of reproductions are shown by fungus? Sex, uh, asexual reproductions are shown. Mycelium unistic, no. Sorry, sir. What is mean by mycelium? Filamentous fungi who lack septa. No. Take your note. What is a mycelium? A network of branch hypae absorbs nutrition, sir. Network of branched hyphae. Okay, that is the most important part there, according to the resource book. Okay, it's, it's given in to you in the brackets. Yeah, yeah sir. For absorption of nutrition. That is the one you have to tell them. Okay. Yes, yeah, sir. Tell it again. A network of branched hypae that used to absorb nutrition. No, no. Why are you telling used to? Is it mentioned to you used to? I uh, know, sir. Hmm. A network of branched hypae absorb, uh, absorb nutrition. No. How it is written in your note? A network of branch hype adapted for absorption of nutrition. Ah, that is what they have written. Okay. Yes, sir. So, although what we tell has a, a meaning uh, nearly sounding same, better it should be in their words. And finally, uh, 15th one. Fifteen question answer. What uh, what kind of reproductions are shown by fungus? Sexual and asexual reproductions. Finally, what is hostoria? Uh, those are some fungi that penetrate and absorb or fungal exchange nutrients. filaments. Fungal Fung filaments. Ah. Fungal filaments that uh, that produces uh, fungal filament that penetrates and absorb or exchange nutrition between plants and fungi. Hmm. Are you clear? Yes, yeah, sir. Right. And in the fungus, last class, oh, I introduced you that there are four phyla. Correct, uh, Tlaushan? Yes, sir. What are the four fungal phyla? Now both of you can tell me.
Pythidiomycota. Pythidiomycota. Zygomycota. Zygomycota. Ascomycota. Ascomycota. Pasidiomycota. Pasidiomycota. All together, how many? Four, sir. Four, sir. Right. What are the fungal genera belonging to phylum Chytridiomycota? What will you Chytridium, say? sir. Chytridium, correct. Actually, there is another fungus, Puta. Ekatliya ganda, allomyces. Okay, it can be sometimes uh, expected from you. Understood? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Secondly, so can you tell the spelling for that word, sir? Allomyces, A L L O A L L O M Y C E S Allomyces. Dancer. Okay. What are the okay? Remember, I am moving with these questions. It's a different lesson, understood? Because you don't have much uh, exposure to home uh, fungal. Okay, compared to plants, your exposure to fungus is very, very low. Understood? Yes, sir. That's the yes. reason, just moving with the question that you will be getting exposed to the questions and uh, remembering the answers will be fighting with no understood okay that is the expectation okay tell me what are the fungus muca and rhizopus muca other one rhizopus rhizopus those two fungus O fungus of zygomycota are generally called bread fungi because they are most preferential choice substrate is bread. Understood? Right. Yes, sir. What are the fungal genera? We are only getting genera because species are not mentioned to us belonging to phylum Escomycota. Aspergillus. Aspergillus. Saccharomyces. Saccharomyces. Penicillium. Penicillium. Aspergillus. Saccharomyces. Third one. What is it? Penicillium. Saccharomyces is the generic name of most of the yeast. Understood? Understood the idea? Sir, can you repeat that point, sir? Generic name of, now Saccharomyces, they are word that you, they are using now. Saccharomyces. Yeah, Saccharomyces is the generic name of yeast. Understood? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But it is not the only generic name. It is not the, what is it? Only generic name. Now, when I search for the word East, I will get into this. In the East, okay, there are 1,500 species there, right? 
in it is saccharomyces is one of the main generic name understood yes sir here saccharomyces is one of the major generic name of home uh yeast understood right so what are the fungal genera belonging to phylum basidiomycota agaricus agaricus of balls of balls shell fungi shell fungi okay right first of all let us just go for a idea regarding each of these fungus what is the first one chytridia okay first of all i will show you a chytridium i will try to show you a chytridium culture okay chytridium culture in the uh, laboratories we are growing this fungi this most of the fungi are grown in the grown in the what or cultured in the what uh in the laboratories understood yes sir right so chytridium you just a small to give you small small ideas for this one eh? okay chytridium is generally a unicellular fungi what kind of fungi a unicellular fungi and it is one of the aquatic fungi understood yes sir yes sir chytridium is a unicellular fungi same time it is an aquatic fungi right elomyces is an multicellular fungi aquatic fungi so is an aquatic fungal phylum okay who is it an aquatic fungal phylum who is it elomyces sir <coughs> no no phylum chytidiomycota understood <coughs> yes sir right here <coughs> in the chytidiomycota some members are what is it aquatic some members are what is it terrestrial sir terrestrial correct okay further <coughs> some are decomposed some are parasites some are multicellular some are unicellular multicellular ones are what category multicellular ones are elomycetic sir elomycetic so it is they are pointing cenocytic so what kind of hyphae they have septate hyphae o a septate hyphae aseptate septate aseptate hyphae they produce 
zoo spores which are flagellated. This is done during asexual reproduction. So, production of zoo spores during which reproduction that takes place? Asexual reproduction. Asexual, Asexual reproduction. Sir. Cell walls are made up of chitin. No need to tell that one. Correct? Yes, sir. Some of them forms colonies with hyphae while others exist as single spherical cells. So single spherical cells don't make colonies. Hyphae only make colonies. Understood? Yes, sir. Right. So, let's go for this. What are the habitats where we can observe members of phylum Chitidiomycota. What will you see? <clears throat> sir, aquatic. Aquatic and terrestrial. Aquatic and terrestrial. Terrestrial, sir. Terrestrial. Okay. Aquatic and terrestrial. Okay. Name a unicellular fungi belonging to phylum Chidiomycota. Chitridium, sir. Chitridium. Correct. Name a unicellular fungi belonging to phylum. Sorry, same question coming, right? Chitridiomycota. Okay. We'll change this word. Okay. Multicellular fungi belonging to phylum Chitidiomycota. Allomyces? Allomyces. Correct? Laushan, okay. Okay, sir. Right. <clears throat> right. Next it is. What are the features of multicellular chitridiomycota fungi? So they are xenocytic. They are xenocytic. Correct. Yes, sir. Yeah. It's, a, it's a xenocytic branch hyphae. They produce what kind of hyphae? Branched, sir. Branched hyphae. Xenocytic branched hyphae they produce. Xenocytic branched hyphae. What are the units produced by? Phylum chitidiomycota fungi for asexual reproduction. Zoospores, sir. Zoospores. What is it? Zoospores. Okay. What are the units produced by phylum? 
chytidiomycota fungus for sexual reproduction they will produce flagellated male gametes and female gametes what they will produce flagellated what they will produce flagellated male flagellated male gametes and female gametes understood yes sir actually in the if you go for the knot okay if you go for the let's go for this i will show you is it the uh, internet screen there shared yes yes sir allomyces actually regarding chytridium we are not getting much details from any place understood yes sir. but regarding allomyces we get so much information this is the life cycle of whom allomyces in the life cycle of allomyces you can see this small circle indicates the zoospores are coming right yes sir zoospores are coming mean this small circle indicates the asexual reproduction understood yes sir yes sir this large cycle actually fungus life cycle is not in your syllabus but certain details are they are in your syllabus here can you see male gamete female gamete like words yes sir so generally my children fungus don't have flagella in their cells okay here after other than chytidiomycota in any other fungus you will not learn flagellated cells there so having flagellated cells is a unique feature of phylum chytidiomycota within our syllabus if you take your syllabus within your syllabus okay the only fungal phylum that produces zoo spores okay what are zoo spores what should be there okay zoo spores mean they should be haploid or diploid spores never mind they should contribute to which reproduction asexual sir. asexual reproduction okay what is the locomotive structure they should have flagella sir flagella if those things are there you can say so remember by explaining this one your examiner will ask what is okay or define zoo spores what can you say if that question is coming to you what will you say flagellated spores flagellated spores they can belong to they can be diploid or what is it haploid sir haploid but in the chytidiomycota it is in chytidiomycota it is what do you say diploid understood yes sir yes sir ah. and they should have flagellated and they should be produced during the 
asexual reproduction asexual okay? reproduction sir can you repeat the answer for that definition sir one second you tell what are the things you are going to include Shamla, you tell me what are the things you are going to include. Uh, they are flagellated. Uh, mm -hmm. Can be uh, can be either diploid or haploid. Mm. But it, but chytridium should be diploid. The chytridium should be diploid. Chytridium should be what is it? Diploid, sir. Diploid. Chytridium mycota mean diploid. Understood. Okay. Sir. Yes. Chytridiomycota mean it's a diploid. And what type of reproduction it will involve? The zoospores. Zoospores will be taking part in which reproduction, which type of reproduction? Asexual reproduction. Asexual sir. reproduction. Thing is this examiner will not worry about in what order you are writing this. Understood? Yes, sir. Examiner will worry only about whether the expected points are there. Okay. If the expected points are there, he will give you the score. It is the only expectation. In the definitions, memorizing definitions line to line. Okay. Is not an effective type of learning method. And I don't tell my students to memorize any one of these in any place. Okay. Even to you, I have not told what is it. Do memorization. Okay. That is not the right method. That is not the right method. Right. You have to keep the points, put it in the correct wording style. That is very, very important. And in this life cycle, you can see the left side. What is the organism there? Mature sporophyte, sir. Sporophyte there. In the right side, what can you see? That's your gametophyte, sir. So there is gametophyte and sporophyte coming here, right? Yes, sir. That means it is the fungal phylum showing alternation of generations. Understood? Yes, sir. What is the fungal phylum that shows alternation of generations? Chytidiomycota, sir. Chytidiomycota. So, uniquely, it has several features. Understood? Yes, sir. Yes. Uniquely. When you learn other fungus only, you will understand how these ones are going to be unique. So, at the moment, some details, what they have given us, you have come across them. Understood? Yes, sir. Right. In these ones, generally, we will notice rhizoids. Fungal filaments are working as, what is it? Rhizoids. So mark the rhizoids. Done, sir. Good. Fine. Passing home. Chytridium mycota, we are coming to zygomycota. Zygomycota, what are the fungus? 
mucor rhizopus okay let's search mucor i'm just searching mucor okay mucor will be seen under microscope like this i will later tell you what they are okay this kind of an appearance can be seen in what is it mucor when you notice them under microscope <coughs> clear yes sir yes sir similarly rhizopus same appearance will be there slightly different we will later discuss about the uh, difference rhizopus okay when i search for rhizopus they are showing this correct by showing this what they are trying to tell you what they are trying to tell you so they are bread fungi they are bread fungi correct they grow on bread materials bread fungi are you clear yes sir right the spheric sphere sphere like structures what you can see in the when when i give once i show you this in addition to fungal filaments you can see those spherical structures right yes sir and those spherical structures are those spherical structures are uh sporangium what is it the spherical structures are home sporangium sir sporangium okay sporangium will produce home sporangium will produce home tell me sir spo spos simple correct sporangium will produce home spos spos sir spor sir understood yes sir are you clear yes, sir. right so actually this life cycle you don't need to understand my children but just try to capture certain word these words you examiner use but he says you don't need to know the life cycle in this place in this kutti place okay these black color ones are exposed to you correct yes sir yes yeah. sir from the spores they say a mycelium is growing out correct in the mycelium in the terminal ends of certain branches who are developed sporangia sir sporangia sporangia undergoes mitosis and produce home the arrow ends like this the arrow starts lies way and finishing this way correct yes sir right so the spores germinate produce the mycelium mycelium produces units called porangio pores what are these units Orangeo pores. Four, four. P H O R E. Orangeo four. What are these units? Orangeia, sir. Orangeia. Inside the orangeia, what will be produced? Pores, sir. Pores will be produced. Pores will germinate and again produce. 
mycelium sir mycelium understood yes sir yes good so we'll do lights although they say it is not necessary your syllabus actually in fungus syllabus is little challenging syllabus life cycle is not there but life cycle contents are there in syllabus understood yes sir so that is really a challenging one because students need don't need to study the life cycle but the features of life cycle should be there mean how it is possible right now what is this what are these spores correct yes sir spores undergo what change what change to mycelia now what change germination Germin sir. germination due to the germination of the spore actually the spores will be in black color the spores will be in what is it black color from the spore a fungal mycelium will be developing correct understood yes sir from the mycelium this mycelium is developing to a larger unit having units like this correct in the top of them what are produced sporangia sir how do you call this unit sporangio four four mean stand understood yes sir it what are these it is a orangium correct plural word is orangia understood yes sir right these spores are what kind of spores haploid sir haploid spores this mycelium is what kind of mycelium haploid mycelium so this whole unit these are rhizoids this whole unit sporangio four rhizoid sporangium all these ones are home haploid sir haploid when the sporangium produces spores again from haploid to haploid what kind of reproduction what kind of cell division you are expecting the mitosis mitosis so here what happens mitosis so this is the asexual reproduction of zygomycota fungi understood yes sir could you please mark it down with that heading 
asexual reproduction of zygomycota fungi. Completed? Yes, sir. Chamla? Dan, sir. Right. Now, in the sexual reproduction of zygomycota, Okay. Here, this is a fungal 
filament sorry hyphae okay what kind of what kind of so phenocytic phenocytic no septa correct here another fungal filament i am using two different colors okay these two are there's no male female they are going to merge when they are merging from each from each phylum and from each filament an extension will grow like this these extensions are growing towards each other and inside them also who will be there nuclei will be there okay understood yes sir now they are in their front end in their front end in their front end these units will develop they are called gametangia so one it is taken as a mating type minus mating type plus can see male female so we are dividing them as what plus and minus okay both these ones are what kind of units what kind of units haploid unit now here some nuclei will be situated here some nuclei will be situated usual other nuclei will be there these components are called you know this word what is the word gametangia sir gametangia correct now yes, sir. what's happening is in the in this junction this one's new cell wall and this one cell wall will dissolve so they are nuclei will mix up understood yes sir yes sir right only mixing not yet they are 
fused. This at the moment cytoplasms are mixing. Understood? This yes, mixing sir. of cytoplasms is called plasmogamy. What is the meaning for this word? What is the meaning for this word? Fusion of cytoplasms. Okay. Now, this is how it is inside. This one externally, its one will externally will become a it will become a a rough walled unit understood inside yes, like this understood and this unit is called by the name zygoporangium. What is the name? What is the name? Zygosporangium. Zygosporangium. Inside the zygosporangium, I have selected how many nucleus? How many nucleus I have selected inside the zygosporangium? Look at the diagram. How many nucleus I have selected inside the zygosporangium? So six. Six. One belongs to brown, one belongs to green. Understood? Yes, sir. Right. They fuse. They, what's it? Fuse. By fusing, they produce three haploid nuclei. Understood? So diploid nucleus. Rest will be as it is. Understood? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Rest will be as it is. Now, who are fusing? Nuclei are fusing. Correct? Yes, sir. It is described by the word karyogamy. Your examiner will use these words. Understood? Yes, sir. Okay, your examiner's mistake is that he is using the word plasmogamy, using the word, what is it, karyogamy, but students are expected to understand it, but no life cycle means it is impossible. Understood? Now, that's why I am working on the life cycle. You understood? But there yes, will sir. not be any paragraph of notes for you on life cycle of fungus. Clear? Clear, sir. Here, it is the zygoporangium. 
from the zygosporangium a sporangiophore will grow up and in the top of it it will produce a sporangium making haploid spores in this place what is the division taking place mouse sir these are nucleus what is the what is the chromosomal complement diploid so this is going to be after karyogamy we can call it by the name what is it zygote now meiosis occurring in zygote understood from the sporangium so this is going to be the sporangium this is going to be the sporangio four so in the sexual life cycle also sporangium comes a sexual life cycle also sporangium comes in both of them spores come here also spores are haploid these spores are released okay some spores will make the mating type minus some spores will make the mating type plus are you clear yes clear, sir right. thing it is they will use the word gametangia they will use the word plasmogamy they will use the word zygosporangium they will use the word uh, karyogamy you have to understand for that this life cycle will be helpful for you but you don't need to practice this life cycle and draw it again and keep you what is it updated in drawing the life cycle they are not going to ask you to draw it they are not going to ask you to uh, write the descriptive life cycle understood yes, yes sir. sir but they will ask you questions based on it that push those questions i will also give you you first complete it green and brown can be seen separately yes sir ah then
Tell me after completing. Done, sir. Done, sir. Done. Right. So, with this idea, try to understand now this diagram. Can you understand this diagram?
cancer. Right. So this is the note you are given. Could you please go through the note? Children, give me one minute time. Eh? Went through it? Yes, sir. Right. Yes, sir. So according to that one, do you notice unicellular organisms in phylum phytidiomycota? Yes, sir. Unicellular ones are there? Does the note tell there are unicellular ones? Unicellular one. No, sir. No, sir. Hmm? Is no, the sir. note pointing you there are unicellular ones? No, sir. No, sir. No. For all of them are multicellular, sir. All of them are multicellular. Okay. Right. So let's go for the note. What are the environmental role plays of Fungi in phylum zygomycota. What are the environmental role plays you are pointed? So they are saprotrophs. Saprotroph. Decomposers are saprotrophs. Understood? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Decomposers are saprotrophs. Saprotrophs are whom? Decomposers. Understood? And what are the other two? Parasites. Parasites they are, then commensals then. Understood? Yes, sir. Right. So, next one it is. Sir, what are okay. commensals? 
Human cells mean they will stay in another organism and they benefit, but the other organism has no benefit, no harm. Understood? Yes, sir. One organism benefits, other organism no benefit, same time, no harm also. Understood? Yes, yes sir. sir. What are the features of hyphae or hypha or hyphae of? So they are xenocytic. Phylum zygomycota fungus. They are, what is it? Xenocytic. Xenocytic. And they are telling aseptic. No septa. Okay. In which place septa can be noticed? In places where reproductive cells are formed? In places where reproductive cells are formed, correct? Yes, sir. Right. So what is that place? You, I have not indicated anything like, like that now, correct? Yes, sir. If you go for this, in this, these are the reproductive structures, understood? In these places, High for, uh, septa will be formed. Understood? Yes, sir. When sporangia yes, sir. develop in the hypha, in that place, septa will be formed. Mark the septa in your diagram. Here, mark the mark some spores inside. Understood? Yes, sir. Right. They are up. So in which place? Okay. Now. What are the properties of asexual spores produced in what is it? What are the properties? They are identical haploid they are spores. Identical, genetically identical, not identical. They are what is it? Genetically identical, sir. Generally, during asexual reproduction, that genetical identity is there, right? Right. Yes, what sir. else? What tells? So they are haploid. haploid. They are haploid. That I already marked in the diagram, correct? Yes, yes sir. sir. Yes. What else? They are endospores they are produced inside the sporangium understood yes sir so what are the qualities what are the properties of asexual spores they are genetically identical uh -huh. they are haploid mm. and they are also endospores that are produced inside sporangia Inside sporangia. Okay. What is 
zygosporangium in this one this is the most important structure according to this zygosporangium only you are given the head is it's, it is named as zygomycota understood yes so sir. what are the uh, features of zygosporangium so they are multinucleated structure they are multinucleated what else they are resistant to unfavorable environment they are resistant to unfavorable environmental conditions what else they are metabolically inactive in they adverse they are metabolically inactive in adverse environmental conditions what else they produce genetically diverse haploid spores when environmental conditions are favorable what else it is a sturdy structure what kind of word they are say what kind of word they are using sturdy sturdy, the sturdy. okay it's a rough walled the wall of it will appearing like what a rough structure understood yes sir yes sir okay so it's a sturdy structure that means it's a strong a tough structure okay but right. so several things you have to write okay multinucleated they are multinucleated by right. to which environmental conditions that zygosporangium is resistant so dry and cold drying and freezing understood yes sir that mean and in opposite you have to understand one thing if you boil it will zygosporangium tolerate no sir Oh, no. sir. Okay. So sometimes they might ask you, "What is zygosporangium?" In that case, what will you answer? Okay, you have to start with this. What is it? A thirty structure produced. by which two birds they are telling plasmogamy and karyogamy okay a sturdy we have to put the words correctly multinucleate structure correct produced by plasmogamy and karyogamy okay resistant to resistant to uh, unfavorable environmental conditions such as drying and freezing 
which produce our is one another. Our is one. which produce genetically genetically diverse haploid pose when environmental conditions are favorable understood could you please write and keep this definition putha okay sir okay sir because i will remove this in the question, only questions will be there
Sorry, 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 sorry. Okay, have you completed? Yes, sir. Yes. The AC mechanic of my car has come for a long time. Car is not AC working. Suddenly he entered. Very sorry. And uh, so, what, so what is uh, karyogami? The fusion of home. So the nuclei. Yeah, haploid nuclei. Okay, and they form a diploid nucleus. Correct. Am I yes, right? Sir. Right. Yes, sir. So what is plasmogamy? 
the fusion of cytoplasm? Fusion of cytoplasms. Okay. In zygomycetes, in zygomycota fungi, okay. Do karyogamy and plasmogamy take place simultaneously? Avang simultaneously. Ekaserate when avad. Is it taking place simultaneously? Is no, it sir. happening together? No, hmm? sir. No. So which is taking place first? The plasmogamy. Plasmogamy, sir. Plasmogamy followed by? Karyogamy, sir. Karyogamy. And final one. What are the habitats? So it's not written there. Habitats, is it, is it written there? Zygomycota fungus. Are you written? The notes. No, sir. No. They are terrestrial. No aquatic. Okay. Finally, oh. what are the Differences between phylum Tritidiomycota and phylum Zygomycota. What will you say? Phylum chytriodiomycota chytrio contains uh, aquatic and terrestrial uh, fungus. Wait, eh? mm -hmm. Zygomycota. Hmm. Aquatic forms are present. Aquatic forms are absent. Correct? Yes, sir. Hmm. What else? So some uh, zygomycota fungi are commensals. Okay, according to this note, right? Commensals yes. are present, correct? Here, commensals are absent. Am I right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's not a real one, but according to that note. Okay, what else? The zygomycota fungi are only multicellular, but in chytridiomycota they are unicellular and multicellular. Right. So, unicellular forms are present, correct? Unicellular forms are absent, correct? Only differences we are writing. Multicellular is a common feature, no? correct? Yes, sir. Yeah. So we're skipping. What else? The criteria might have produced zoos force. Okay. Produce 
motile correct two spore this one produce non motile spores understood yes sir so because the zoo spores are there what kind of medium will be used for the dispersal of the zoo spores sir water water so zoo spores are dispersed by water correct these ones are yeah. these ones asexual spores are uh, dispersed by wind understood what else yes sir mm -hmm. another thing you can say here gametes involved in sexual reproduction understood yes sir male gamete and what's it female gamete here that type of gametes did you see no so instead no, two involves mating types involving sexual reproduction understood yes sir hmm. so in the fusion of gametes the gametes are fusing in which environment the gametes are fusing they are motile gametes they are flagellated gametes in which environment they are fusing the aquatic aquatic so it is happening in the external environment correct yes sir yes so sir. fusion of gametes take place in the external environment correct so it is it can be considered as a what what kind of fertilization what kind of external. fertilization external external fertilization here fusion we can't say gametes are fusing fusion that is is a word applying for what is it plasmogamy and karyogamy okay takes place within gametangia correct yes sir so it can be considered as a what kind of fertilization internal fertilization internal fertilization okay tell the difference using the zygosporangium okay is a unique feature correct yes sir resistant units are what is it absent zygosporangium okay functions as a what kind of unit resistant unit understood yes sir 
could you please write down this comparison between cardiomycota and zygomycota? Tell me after completing. Done, sir. Okay. Solution completed? Uh, no, sir. Last point, sir. Okay. Samla, we'll meet tomorrow. Bye then. Okay, sir. Bye.
Done, sir. Okay. Bye, Deloshan. Bye, sir.